Hello and welcome to the next video in our First Steps series. So what if you already have a novel that you were working on prior to using Novel Crafter? How do we easily get this into Novel Crafter to continue our work? We have you covered in the import feature. In this video, I'll first show you how to import a novel and then give you some real-time examples of importing different novel structures into the software. To import your novel into Novel Crafter, you need to be on the homepage, and from here, go to import. You want to select the format of your novel. Currently, you can either import as a doc or a markdown. We currently don't support other document formats. However, you can save your document as a dot docs in many word processors, for example, Google Docs, LibreOffice, and others. You're not required to have Microsoft Word in order to do this. We'll give you some examples of this later in the video. Then you will want to choose your file and then preview the import and import your novel. But how do we want to format this? Here I've taken an abridged version of The Wizard of Oz in order to show you how to use this. In Word, here in Styles, you can select headings. And if you have acts, in your story, you want to have those as heading one. We have act one and we have an act two. Chapters will therefore be heading two. And if we want multiple scenes in a document um, or in a chapter, you want to separate them with the triple asterisk as a divider. If we take this document and save it, and then we go into Novel Crafter, Port, Word Document, choose our file, now we can preview the file. You can see here it has word count, it has separated the chapters and the acts, and we see here we've got the two scenes. So two acts, five chapters, six scenes. Confirm the import. And you see we have this here. For this second example, we're going to only have chapters. In this case, we only need to use heading one. So in Google Docs, um, you can see here, we can put that as heading. I'm pressing Control Alt 1 as a shortcut for this. And again, we'll leave the two scenes separated like this. I'm going to download this as a Microsoft Word dot docs file. And then if we go into Novel Crafter, import Word doc, title document, and you can see here, the entire novel is considered an act, so everything will be imported as one act. So my third example is if you have a prologue or an epilogue that you want to include separately. So you could just have a chapter called chapter one or have and have a prologue, or you could also have Prologue, heading one. Prologue, heading two to denote the chapter. And then likewise, if you wanted, you could have an epilogue. Say if we want this epilogue just be within the chapter uh, or within the same act, have an epilogue and save the document. And then if we go to import this new version, see that we have three acts. We have our prologue act, we have the two acts that follow, and the epilogue is classed in the chapters. If we had names for the chapters, we could also use those. 
So let's call this. We take these, save our document. And you can see that it's named these chapters. If we confirm the import, you can see that these chapters, whilst it says chapter one here, it does not have the chapter written in the name. And you can also notice that the prologue and epilogue don't have a chapter associated with them either. In June 2024, we've also added a new format for this um, in order to import chapter summaries or outlines. So if we add our file, we might choose this time to import as chapter summaries as we've not included the entire prose, preview import. And then if we confirm this import, you can see that these have all put the text into the scene summary boxes. To access the feature through the toggle, currently you can't import both summaries and the prose. And so we'd suggest that you import your prose and then either manually add the summaries or use AI to summarize them. And finally, a little bit of troubleshooting. Firstly, do you have a table of contents in your document? Currently, our system doesn't support tables of contents. The table of contents may interfere with the system's ability to recognize the correct headings, resulting in your document becoming rejected. If your document contains a table of contents and you're experiencing issues with uploading, we recommend just removing it from your document. Uh, for the purposes of importing, uh, please create a document that contains only the actual book. Prologue and epilogue chapters are fine. Novel Crafter also does not support inline images yet, so please remove any of those from your document. And finally, check which browser you're using to upload the document. If you're using Safari browser, please make sure that you're using the latest version or at least 16.5. Otherwise, try either Firefox or Chrome during the import. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it's helped you and given you some confidence in uploading your novels and beginning your novel crafter journey.